What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today Apple released iOS 18.1.1 a few weeks after the release of iOS 18.1. Now along with this release, we also got iPadOS 18.1.1, macOS Sequoia 15.1.1, VisionOS 2.1.1, and iOS 17.7. Point two for those who did not update to iOS 18. But of course, in this video, we're talking all about iOS 18.1.1. So first off, you can see the size of this update came in at 436.2 megabytes on my iPhone 16, which was coming from iOS 18.1. That size, of course, can vary depending on your device. And if you're on an older version than 18.1, you will see a larger sized update. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this new update, settings, general, about 18.1.1 the new build is 22b91 and if we go back and check out the modem firmware version that is 1.11.01 all right so now what's new here in ios 18.1.1 and if you guys have watched the channel for a while you know that a double point update means that it's only going to contain security and or bug fixes we're not going to see any type of new features with a double point update ever and this is no different. And in this update, Apple said specifically that we're only going to receive important security fixes and that it's recommended for all users. So based on that, it seems like we're not going to see any bug fixes. It's going to be specifically and strictly for security patches. So if you've been one of the many people on iOS 18.1, where if you make edits to your photo and then you save it, it doesn't actually save your edits. That does not appear to be fixed here with 18.1.1. Otherwise, I feel like Apple would have mentioned that in the release notes. And same goes with app crashes, battery drain. If you had any type of Wi-Fi connectivity issues, anything like that, that is unlikely likely to be fixed with this update. It seems like Apple is waiting until iOS 18.2 to fix up those bugs. This again is specific for security patches. And as far as the specifics on these security patches, you can see both of them right here on Apple's website. So the first one is a JavaScript core bug and the impact is processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. And take a look at that next sentence. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited on Intel based Mac systems. So this CVE was addressed with improved checks. And then the second one is a WebKit bug and it says processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to a cross site scripting attack. And the description for this fix was a cookie management issue was addressed with improved state management. So it's really interesting to see both of these bugs being actively exploited on Intel based Mac systems. Now that does not mean that these bugs were not also active or, you know, able to be reproduced on iOS and iPad OS, especially when it comes to WebKit because WebKit kit runs you know across all of those devices listed there where it says available for so do not think that this is only going to be you know something that you need to install on an intel based mac this is also important for your iphone and your ipad as well and by the way these same security patches are across the board so on ios and ipad os 17.7.2 and mac os sequoia 15.1.1 they both mention the same bug fixes now as far as the performance goes i would not expect any type of performance boost here from a 18.1.1 if you're coming from iOS 18.1. Now, if you were still on iOS 18.0, you might see a jump here in battery life and in performance. So I'm going to go ahead and run a Geekbench 6 test just to see how we score here on 18.1.1. But again, I would not expect it to be much different, if any difference at all, compared to 18.1. Okay, so we scored a 3205 on the single core and a 7685 on the multi-core. So again, very similar results to what we saw with 18.1 I would not expect a big jump there in performance and then when it comes to battery life I would not expect any type of improvement in battery life unless you had some type of random bug on 18.1 I think for most people battery life is going to be pretty much exactly the same as it was in 18.1 since again Apple did not address anything related to bugs or you know battery life or performance this was strictly for security patches so now should you update to iOS 18.1.1 and I would 
would say that if you're on iOS 18.1 or earlier, like 18 or iOS 17 even, then yes, it's a good idea to go ahead and update to keep your device as secure as possible. You're not going to get any type of flashy new updates if you're coming from 18.1, but it is good to know on the back end at least that you are protected with the latest security patches. And if you're currently on the iOS 18.2 beta, I do not think it's worth downgrading to 18.1.1 because you're going to receive these security patches in the next beta update, if not the one after that. And of course, these will also be baked in to 18.2 along with other security patches as well. And speaking of iOS 18.2, let's talk about what to expect next from Apple. So next up is most likely going to be iOS 18.2. There is a possibility of an 18.1.2, but that would require something pretty major, a pretty major bug, specifically a security vulnerability to slip through the cracks for, for us to see that. So I think we're going to see 18.2 next, and I do believe we're going to see that in the first half of December. So we're hearing December 2nd is a possibility, and also December 9th is a possibility. So we should see it within that first half of December right there, and then we're not going to see 18.3 until sometime in 2025. So there you have it. That is a quick update on iOS 18.1.1 and what has been included in the update. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, I would appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on when the next iOS 18.2 beta gets released. And of course, the 18.2 final release will be here on the channel as well with all the new features included in that update. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.